everlasting. People sing so beautiful, and then when I meet them, they're the most negative people I've ever heard of. <laughs> they sing great, but they don't carry the tune. Yes, we sing to get it in us yes. so that we believe everything that we're singing, yes. that we believe everything that we say. Yes. I mean, if we believe half of what we said, that's what you tell everybody. Oh, I trust the Lord, and I believe. And the Lord's after thinking, really? Oh, <laughs> so you know, it's important that we validate. The more I believe, the less fear that I have. The more that I believe, the less doubt that I have. The more that I believe, the more certain that I am. The more that I believe, the more I'm expecting. This side isn't saying anything over here. What's the matter with this side, this section? Huh? Do you believe too over here? Well, it took you long enough to say that. This whole place is to be preoccupied with receiving tonight. We didn't rent this room and do all of this so that you, you come in and leave the same. We expect you to leave with a miracle. Hey! Hey! I mean, if you go to Whole Foods, we expect you to walk out with Whole Foods. You know, if you go here, we expect you to walk out with what you went into the store for. If you keep walking in places and walking out without what you went in for, you won't keep going. You got to get a portion of this tonight. Yes. Come on, say, before I leave here tonight, I, here tonight I, will make contact with the spirit of faith. I will make contact with the spirit of faith. I will find the spirit of faith. Or the spirit of faith will find me. I'll find it. I'll get it. I'll find it. Yeah, that preacher will give it to me. If he don't, that singer will. If he don't, that usher will. That Uber driver, I'll get it from the Uber man. Yeah. I am going to get the spirit of faith tonight. Yeah. Come on. Come on. Come on, you got to believe that. You know, at some point, we all, we all, that means the person next to you, behind you, that means the man that don't even look like he wants to be here. But listen to me. You have to catch fire. Yes. You've got to want this. Yes. That's why you came here, I think. I don't know. Hallelujah. I don't know why you're here. Yes. Why are you here? Hallelujah. Oh, Jesus, what was that? Whatsoever things you desire. That's where the pilot light comes on. That's the pilot light of our soul, your desire. Come on, say, the pilot light of my soul is my desire. Then how you feed that. When you feed a fire, what happens? Am I in the right city? Is this... The is this the exciting, amazing Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania? Huh? Come on, put your hands up all over the place tonight. We're believing tonight for you in this time that we're here. I know we're getting started a little bit later tonight, but 
Lazarus, Jesus waited four days. One to make sure that he was dead. So there was no speculation, was he really dead? So there are divine delays that play a major part in can your faith keep on faithing? If everything don't work just the way that you want, can you still be up? Yes. Can you still expect? Yes. It went a little later than I thought. It went a little longer than I thought. They sang too much. I didn't like those songs. Listen to me. Listen to me. You got to push past a lot of that stuff that's you and you and you. Yes. When we all walk into this room, we lay it down. Amen. Come on, say it's his menu. It's his miracle for me. I don't know how it's coming, but I'm here to receive it. I will get better vision tonight. And there'll not be a cancer cell left in my body. No more paralyzed people here tonight. And that spirit of death, it's about to get canceled. Come on, give God a shout. Everything, oh, come on, let's do it. Yes, every. say you're getting us all riled up yet yeah, because your soul either becomes something you drag with you everywhere you go <laughs> or it's part of the fight you know, you, you, ha you are a spirit you have a soul you have a mind and a will and emotions and if you don't get that charged up then your faith has to drag all those other people to the, to the fight so the reason we worship is not that he deserves it, of course. But we worship so that we get your mind and your will as part of your fight. Instead of you standing there, sitting there thinking, I, I don't feel it yet. I don't feel it tonight. Has nothing to do with it. If you let yourself get caught up in this moment, there's enough faith here for everybody. I said, there's enough faith here. For everybody. Come on, one more time. Hands up all over the place. Say, tonight, every pain in my body is under arrest. I tell it to go. As of this night, my blood and my bones are about to be made whole. As of tonight, I'm expecting... Something to, change. Something to change dramatically, dramatically. Noticeably, noticeably that I can tell somebody, can tell look what the Lord has done for me. Give him a standing ovation. Come on. Come on. Come on. You say, yeah, we don't make this much noise at our church. Well, if you look around, we are not at your church. We're, we're right here. We're at the double portion, double tree. The Holy Hilton. I don't know. We are right here for just a few moments. Give somebody a really big hug tonight and say, tonight is your night. I love the casual. I love it. Oh, 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 oh. Way to go. Sorry about Way that. to go. Way to go. Woo! Wow. 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 I'm going to come down here and greet some of you tonight. Uh, uh, how many people do we have here outside of Pittsburgh? Outside. Outside. Of, let me see. Oh, wow. Okay, that's a lot. 
How about outside of Pennsylvania? Oh my. Oh my, stand up. I want to see who this is outside Pennsylvania. Tell me where you're from. I'm sorry? Upstate New York. Finger Lakes area. The Finger Lake area. About, about five hours, five and a half hours. Five and you drove five and a half yep. hours. Yep. Are you spending the night tonight? Yep. You're here tomorrow, tomorrow morning. Tomorrow Absolutely. morning, please, please bring your Bible tomorrow morning. I'm going to be sharing. I'm, I'm going to actually open up my Bible and share. Okay, so bring your Bible. Amen. Amen. I mean, we got to keep that Word of God active in you. Amen. That's why all of this happens. Just because I don't carry a Bible for every healing meeting, please don't think I don't read my Bible. Right, right. Amen. These are our healing nights, these, these evenings. Are, but in the morning, I want to be able to get in there and get you something solid to get a hold of. Amen. Everybody's faith needs a handle. Yes, hallelujah. You can't get out of a pool without a handle. You can't get into a house without a handle. Right. And sometimes we that have been in this for a long time, we just kind of get used to flowing. Yes. And, and you begin to get a little lazy with your, with your resource or your source of your life. Yeah. Keeping it fresh. What's better than oil? Fresh oil. Amen. What's Amen. better than fire? Fresh fire. Yes. Yes. Never here to make you feel bad. Never here to, never, not, not, not the motive. But if we're not here to share with you, where do we get this source of faith? Where do we get this strength? Right. Where does it come from? Every time I read that book, I hear him. Yes. Every time I read a Bible story, I see him. Yes. You can't help but hear him, but see him, and it just builds that faith on the inside of you. Amen. Don't ever, you know, preachers learn how to preach. That's the trouble. The singers learn how to sing. And then you don't even need the anointing. We need, we need the anointing. Amen. And, and we need the glory. Amen. The anointing is the power. Yes. The glory is the presence. Yes. Hallelujah. So when they were singing, I heard that beautiful song, glorify. You know, when you glorify and, or, or be exalted, let your glory fill the earth. That's his presence. Yes. Yes. Hallelujah. That means every, every spa you walk into, presence. Every nightclub, presence. They go there to sin, they're going to walk into presence. That's the power of the latter rain. The latter rain will not escape any dark crevice or corner of the earth. It will be everywhere that people walk into. The Bible says even in Revelation that the rich people will go and hide in caves and they will howl like animals. And here's what they'll say. Hide us from the face of he that sits on the throne. Uh, there's coming a day when that presence is going to be what? So, so tangible. And we're just here getting ready for it. Amen. Come on, say, when, when, tangible when tangible disease meets tangible presence, meets tangible presence. It, is no more. it is no more. That's it. That's tangible. Tangible is what I can feel. It's tangible. Tangible is what I can see. So we're not here just to stir up a religious spirit. We're not here just to follow a song list. That's what strengthens me. That's, that's my fuel. Yes. That's what gives me strength to, yes. to be here, to face adversity. Yes. Do you know how, how sad it is to face disease every day? Yes. And depression and medication and yes. hopelessness and accidents and surgeries and premature death. Do you know what that's like? It can be very, very depressing. And if it gets on the inside of you, then you're done. At least for a day or two. Yeah. You're going to pump all the bad stuff out. How do you keep it from getting in there? You go for you praise him. The Bible says, out of my belly flows rivers. Amen. If I stood right here tonight with a fire hose, none of you could get near me. Amen. Amen. If we turned on the fire hose, the power of that water would keep you from even coming close to me. The force of that water. And that's why Jesus, out of your belly will flow. And, and when that word flow in Greek, it means torrents. It means water so fast and furious, it would remove trees and boulders and rocks. I don't want to spend my whole life binding and loosing and telling the devil where to go. I want the devil to be so frustrated because he's trying to get in my front door and my side door. And that water is flowing out. He can't. Come on, somebody help me tonight. Come on. Come on. 
But tonight I'm hoping that at some point in this meeting, not because I prayed for you, not that at all. You don't need Billy Burke. But at some point in this meeting, I want you to be able to go, Ma, I'm going to have to go walk. I think something's happening to me. Amen. I have to go, and that L4 ain't going to be no L4 anymore. It's going to say, leave me alone. You prayed enough, I'm healed. Amen. You're going to begin to look up here and the blurriness is going to go away. Yes. That can't be right. Take the glad the blurriness is still away. Hallelujah. That's why we're here. Yes. This is not a regular meeting. If it ever becomes a regular meeting, I will here. Yes. I won't be here. Yes. I'm not called to regular. I'm not average. Amen. Oh! Amen. I didn't try to get a C in my report card. Amen. I didn't get all A's, but I was shooting for them. Yes. The teachers just know that I deserve it. That's all. They didn't give it to me. Right. But I, I was shooting for them. I want you tonight to think about, watch this. Here's what the phrase, as I was praying for this meeting, here's what the Holy Spirit said to me. He said, tell the people there's a difference between having faith and being in faith. Amen. Amen. Just because you have faith don't mean you're in faith. Amen. He told me that right an hour ago, two hours ago, as I was praying for this service. He said, just because you have a car don't mean you're always in the car. Amen. Just because you have a house don't mean you're always in your house. Amen. How many know when you're not in your house? Well, that's a good sign. We got some good, smart people here tonight. How many, how many know when you're not in your car? But here's the tricky one. How many know whenever you're not in faith? See, if you were honest, you would know. Because there's nothing but doubt and fear and worry and stress and and so it's very, very important that you realize I'm not, I'm not in faith. Because you can get out of faith as quick as you can get into faith. That's right. And that's why Jesus said, let my words abide in you. And you abide in me. It takes a little more effort. Yes. It's not about being saved. It's not about loving Jesus. You can love Jesus even out of faith. You can still love him. Don't gauge this about love. It's a love it's not a, it has nothing to do with it. It's your effort to stay positive about what you're fighting. Amen. Amen. If you have to say anything with your mouth, say, well, in the natural, it don't look so good. Amen. But I'm in faith. Amen. In the natural, it don't feel so good, but I'm in faith. Help, stay, help, help, to help yourself as much as you can. Because that's where God lives. Amen. Yeah, he appeared on the stormy sea, but he didn't live there. He, pour, he appeared in tombs, but he didn't live in the tombs. You know, he, he lived in a place of faith, of health and strength. And he wants to get you there. Amen. But how you know if your eyes are any better if you never check them? Amen. How many miracle services have you been to and you haven't even checked your eyes yet or your blood pressure? I dare you to bring your blood pressure cuff to the service. I dare you. Double, double dare you tomorrow bring it. <laughs> double dare you. I mean, the devil will do, he'll, 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 he'll do a backflip. He'll think, you know what he'll say? Wow, they're really looking for it. I don't want somebody that's looking for a lottery ticket to be more expecting than me looking for a seed that I sow. People buy tickets thinking, they, I, I just know this is it. This is going to be it. People sow seed and they never say that. There's you putting a seed in the ground anytime you do it for any reason at any church at any telethon it's never wasted Amen. the moment it leaves your hand I don't know who and what they do with your money but listen to me the moment it leaves your hand it's not even in the bank it's in kingdom soil Amen. come on somebody give God a shout come on come on But you got to get your mind and your will and those emotions. See, a lot of people are dragging around that soul, heavy soul. They're worried about this. They're worried about that. Oh, I love the Lord, but I'm worried about this. It's my son. I'm worried about this. It's my job. And you're dragging around this heavy laden soul. And then you come here, you, you leave go of the heavy soul for a minute, and you praise the Lord. And then when you go home, guess what you do? You pick up that heavy soul and take it home with you. You tell that heavy soul, you're about to get converted tonight. Amen. You're about to get challenged and changed tonight. Amen. 
I'm about to lighten the load of my own life tonight. I'm telling you what, if we don't straighten up, I'm going to just tell our singers and worship team up here, sing till midnight. Sing till it breaks. How about that one? How about that one? Just how many would just worship till midnight? Anybody? You'd go, you'd be the first ones to tell your pastor on me. You'd be the first one. He kept us there till midnight. And I never got prayer. <laughs> it's so great to be here. Amen. Isn't it wonderful to be in the presence? Yes. And our worship team had to work extra hard to get here. Yes. Did, they, did you hear about it? Their plane, their flight was canceled yes. in Florida. Oh. And I got the call. That's, you said, oh, I said, oh. I said, because oh. then you'd have to put up with me singing and playing and shouting. Oh. But they made it. Give them all. God bless you. Yes. Yes. Come on, give God a mighty, 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 mighty shout. So, where are some of the people from? You were out of state. Where are you? Where are you from? Ohio, Fairborn. Fairborn, Ohio. Fairborn. Right past Fairborn Bay. Right near what? The Air Force Base. Great to have you. You all came together? Yes, sir. We all go to the same church? No. <laughs> okay. That's all right. I just thought maybe you all, sometimes people from the same church travel together. Right. But, okay, you are just different places. Wonderful. Over here, where are you from? New York State? Central. They're from northern New York. You're from central. We're coming to New York, right, pretty soon for a crusade? Where's that at? What's the name of the city? Long Island. We've rented a, 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 a um, university, their auditorium. Adelphi. Adelphi <laughs> Auditorium, Long Island, oh, New York. I'd love you to come. We are. You know what? You'll be in New York. You'll get so scared you'll need Jesus. I'll tell you that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Give me, oh, oh, oh. Come and be with us in some of these meetings, okay? This one in New York. Is there a bus from here going? No. Well, if we got enough people, we could probably arrange something like that. If we had enough people, I don't know. So where are you from? I came in from Hollywood, California. Hollywood, California. <laughs> okay. I was going to say, you look like Alice Cooper there for a minute. I didn't know... <laughs> I've heard that before. You've heard that before. <laughs> so tell me, what brings you all the way from Hollywood? Um, I was doing street ministry out there, and uh, I started spitting blood up, and then I went to a hospital, and uh, they said I have liver cancer, and there was no cure, that uh, no surgery or nothing. And they just wanted to... Uh, Put me on morphine and take me out. And, and You're in that much pain, the morphine? Uh, yeah. Okay. But I don't do. I don't do that. Well, tonight we're going to give you another painkiller. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> tonight. Right here. Wow. Wow. We're in California next weekend. All next weekend. Placenta. Have you heard of Placenta, California? In L.A. What's in L.A.? It's right outside of L.A. Placenta. Love to have you. Okay, love to have you here. Get your miracle tonight, and tell the people about it in California. Amen. Amen. Thank you. Where are you from? New York. Where? Queens, New York. Queens, New York. Interesting. Was you in our Queens meeting up there? No, we just found recently out about you. So you, you heard about here. it after it was over. Yes. That's the wrong time, sir. Yeah. <laughs> But we'll be at we'll be it at It says Delphi. signs and wonders follow, right? But I don't know if that's I'm glad you're coming to Delphi? Absolutely. Wonderful, wonderful. Right here, yes, sir. We're from Youngstown, Ohio. Yes, Youngstown. Yeah. I love Youngstown. That's that's your wife? Yes. You really have a wife. Yes. <laughs> yes. I've heard about his wife for years. And I didn't know if he was telling me the truth or not. <laughs> lovely lady. Lovely lady. How long have you been married? 40 years. 40 years. 40. Yeah. 
And Don's going to be, in, he's going to help us. We want to do a meeting in Youngstown Amen. at the Stombaugh Auditorium. Amen. So he's going to help us uh, with that project. It's gonna, we're excited about that. Amen. That's what, about two hours away? It, uh, 90 minutes. Huh? He's a good driver. He's a good driver. What's well, yes. nice? What's your name? I'm Sue. Sue. Mm -hmm. Sue. You're Edwards. married to Don. Yes. Great to have you. Great to Great have to you. Great to be here. Mr. Lairo, what do we have here? Canton, Ohio. Canton, Ohio. Yeah. Wonderful. <laughs> Wonderful. Yes, right here. Ma'am? I'm from northeastern Ohio, very close to Canton. Very close to Canton. Yes. Yes. Hazel Park, Michigan. Michigan. Michigan oh, yeah. right. <laughs> Okay. Are you close to Lansing, Michigan? No. We're no. closer to Detroit. To Detroit. Great mm -hmm. to have you. Who's on the front row here? This is my daughter. Your daughter? And my oldest daughter, she invited us to come. Who? You invited them? And she brought us, got the hotel for us, and I'm so oh. happy for her. Whoa. And, and we from Saginaw, Michigan. Saginaw, Michigan. Yes. It's a pleasure <laughs> to be here. Tell me what you're expecting. Why would you? I'm expecting a miracle because I know God works miracles. And he, over 2,000 years ago, oh, he was a healer. Preaching. And I know he's still healing. Yeah. And I'm asking for my A1C to come down because they seem like they want to give me a lot of meds. And I'm just not a person to take a lot of meds because I know God is a healer. You know, I don't, I don't mind meds for a moment. I don't mind meds for a season. I'm not against meds. I'm against them getting you on meds for life. Yes, I'm against you taking the easy way and letting a med do what your faith should be doing. Amen. It gets easier to pop a pill and shoot and do all that than to believe and stand on a verse. Yes. So we're not against any of that stuff. You say you never talk about it. Well, that's because we don't meet here to talk about that. Amen. But we're not against medication. We're not against surgery. It all works. Only God can heal. Yes. Yes. Doctors can't heal you. Hallelujah. They can cut. They can operate. They can remove. They can stitch. Amen. But they can't heal the body, right? Right. Oh, only the maker of your body can heal it. But, but that being said, it concerns me that we people come here and, and they get prayer to stay on medication. Amen. I can't tell you when to go off of it because I'm not a doctor. Amen. And legally, I'm not allowed to do that. But I'm legally allowed to challenge you. Yes, And I'll, I'll, I'll push you on up as far as I can to get you, you know, risking. Yes. Risking doing nothing. Do nothing, see nothing, have nothing. Challenge nothing, you see nothing. Yes. Everything you're facing tonight has to be at least challenged. Yes, In some way. And there's no greater way to challenge it. Yes. Say, in Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. When you bring his name in, you bring him to the fight. Yes. It's a different fight. Yes. If you know a verse on top of that, it's even better. If you can look up and say, I trust you, Lord, that's, you're getting really hot. But the more of him that you can bring to the fight changes the dynamics of the whole fight. Yes. To do nothing is, is, is a bad thing. It really is. It's just your... You're not even willing to put time into it. That's why Jesus said to the man, and I'll be talking about this tomorrow morning, do you want to be well? Yeah. He asked a man that was crippled for 38 years, do you want to be what a, what a sad day whenever God has to ask you, as long as you've been fighting what you're fighting, yeah. do you really want to be better? Because yeah. 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 that, that has something to do with your desire. That has something to do with something else has captured you and you don't know it. Yes, it's possible to be hijacked, kidnapped, and you don't even realize it. Right. And steal years out of your life. Amen. We'll be talking about that tomorrow morning. So come excited. I, Amen. You know, we, we, I just had this report in Canada. We was in Toronto a couple weeks ago. Listen to this. This is an, I love this story. Lady comes in. We, when we go to Toronto, same as here, we'll do a Sunday night and a Monday morning and a Monday night. Or we always do a morning teaching session and two evening healing services because the balance of the Word and the Spirit, that's the secret to life. The balance of Word. Say balance of Word. Balance and the Spirit. And the spirit. So we, we, we had a morning session that was taking place. Well, a lady came from halfway across, I think it was Vancouver. She came from Vancouver to Toronto, and she had stage four cancer. 
And she came and she, got, she picked the wrong service. She came into the teaching service. And so when she came in, the ushers in the back said, well, this is a teaching session. She said, oh, just what you, oh, I came for healing. They said, well, that's, that's tonight. She said, well, I came so far, uh, I guess I'm staying, I can stay tonight. And she said, I'll, I guess I'll just sit in the back of this teaching service. She sat in the back of the teaching service and fell asleep on my teaching. <laughs> Woke up completely healed. <laughs> You say, how does that work? I'm just still learning. As much as I know, 45 years into this journey, and I'm still learning. His unsearchable riches. That's what they're called. Say it, unsearchable. There's no limit. There's no bottom. There's no top. There's just no limit to what he can do, the way he can do it. But to fall asleep while the word is being taught. See, most of us think, I'm going to do a Bible study. Yeah, he's teaching in, he's going through the book of James. And we got into this bad, bad habit of, well, it's just a Bible study. Never. The book of Ezra, when they would open the, the holy book, you know, for the feast, the, pe- the, the high priest, the people would just begin to weep yeah. Amen. when the book was opened. Amen. I'm telling you, this book is, I don't want to use the word magic, but I mean, it is, it's special. There's a power to it. Yes. Just being around that written word or when it's being spoken or oracles of God being taught. Amen. There's nothing like it on planet Earth. Amen. The Constitution pales. Gettysburg Address, as much as I love Lincoln, it pales. Amen. So many of these sacred writings that we have in these museums. He said this and they said that. And here's this, here's this book. Holy men of old, as God's spirit moved on them, you know, spoke these words right out of heaven. And that's how they got, that's why the, that's why the canon was, when it was put together, they didn't put anything in the Bible that Jesus didn't quote out of or draw attention to. They considered Jesus to be the only wise God. I mean, he walked on water. He walked through walls. He came out of a grave. He made things happen that nobody's ever made happen since. He's amazing. His name is Jesus. Jesus. And so if you're here visiting tonight, I know there's many of you are, just so you know whose name here we lift and we exalt here in the city of Pittsburgh and in these meetings. And if you'll do that in your private life, we want to give you enough and put it in a big brown bag and take it home. Yes. Twelve baskets left over and when they fed the thousands. Come on, say, there were leftovers. leftovers. Women, I'm giving you full permission for the leftovers right here. Yes. There were 12 baskets left over. I mean, this is, this is an incredible moment that you're in. Amen. And if you, if you just, if you pay attention, you don't drift away tonight. I mean, I've seen things, cha- I've seen the color of eyes change, cheekbones grow. Amen. I, I've seen the blind, the deaf, I mean, everything imaginable Amen. that could happen here tonight. But it takes you to engage in this. Yes. And you say, but I, I'm, I'm with people that don't believe them. Leave them home next month. That's right. Amen. <laughs> Leave them home. Come, do whatever you have to do. Well, I sit on this side of the room and there's people over here. Sit on the other side. Amen. Walk through a different door. Yeah. Disguise yourself. Go to the costume department and <laughs> whatever you got to do to get here and get your own space. Amen. If you're afraid of somebody wrecking, I'd come, but this is on TV and I don't want my pastor seeing me. <laughs> How silly is that? How silly is that? Amen. Come here and get help. Amen. I was just thinking about a little girl in Toronto a couple years ago. She was, I believe she was in Indian and her mother was Indian and she had, she was pigeon toed. And we have this on film and what I'm saying is on film. And she came up, just the cutest little girl. And I said, I said, so you're pigeon toed. And, and the mother said, well, we call it an instep or whatever they called it. And she was born that way. I said, but God, the Bible says bones move. Right. Ezekiel said, you speak to bones, they listen. 
Amen. You know, if you speak to bones, Amen. if you never speak to your bones, Amen. and you just tell, put Ben Gay on them. Right. <laughs> do, you, do you hear? I'm not, I'm not making, I'm not. See, the re, when you speak to your bones, there's no odor the next day. When you speak to the bones. But some of us, even in these meetings here, you're not even thinking about doing something that doesn't make sense. Anyhow, I said, come on. I said, so she was the cutest little girl. And I said, sweetheart, I want you to say with me, my bones are going to move. And she said, my bones are going to move. Amen. My bones are going to move. Amen. And so I touched her. She goes under the power. When she comes up and the cameras are right on it. And as she's walking, you can see her feet go from pigeon to straight to straight. It's amazing. It's amazing. It's amazing. But, you know, but you got you to be humble. I mean, you got to be willing to break tradition. Amen. You know, maybe you were raised a different way. We respect everywhere you came from, I would think, pretty much. We all have, a, we all have the version, the knowledge that we have. And we just are so excited about what we're seeing here Amen. in Pittsburgh. Amen. Stu Bruberg, who, who was the, he is the area presbyter for the Presbyterian churches, he received a baptism when we were holding meetings at First Presby downtown. That's where Catherine, right where Catherine Coleman held her meeting. We were holding meetings. He came in, received the baptism. He, he, he was spitting. He was a spitting Presbyterian. He was amazing. And, well, he, he, he got out of the presbyter. He left. Well, the church has never done real good since then. Well, they called him and they said, would you come back and take the church over again on 6th Avenue, right downtown? He said, I will if you let me bring Billy Burke with me. Hallelujah. And, and, and the presbyter said, you mean that guy that we had in there several years ago? He said, yeah, yeah. And he said, well, that, he brings those people. They come in and they make noise. They shout. And, <laughs> and they go to midnight. And he said, we, you know, we didn't like them going that late. And he said, I'll come back if you let me bring him. So it looks like we're going to go there in the fall. And listen, just for one meeting. You know, I think one meeting we'll all go there and let you know when that all is. I think it's November. The last I was told, they said to put November on the calendar. So we're going to get down there and just make a lot of noise downtown. So if you're not a noisemaker, you stay home. I want noisemakers, people that praise the Lord. So when they, somebody gets healed, they run around the room or do, they do something. We shouldn't have to say give God praise when somebody gets healed tonight. I mean, you should just be waiting to come out of your seat. When you see somebody getting healed, that's not me taking any credit. I'm, I'm up here. You see me, but I'm, I'm deflecting as much as I can. Because he couldn't use me. He couldn't keep using me all these years if I was taking the credit. Hey, God can pull the plug. He can plug you. He can plug you in, and he can pull that plug. And I don't want him pulling my plug. Let's give God a demonstration of what we're going to act like tonight when somebody gets healed. Come on, come on, let's give him a shout. Come on, let's give him a shout. Yes, 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 yes. All my life, you've been faithful, and all my life, you've been good. So good. Every breath. Every breath that I am able. Come on, I will sing. Oh, I will sing. Of the goodness. Of the goodness of God.
running out, running out. Come on, your goodness is running, running out. What I would say to you is let his goodness catch up to you. Let him catch you tonight. Amen. You may be seated. Who else is out of state? Quickly, I didn't get everybody. Out of state. Right here, man. Where are you from? Ohio. Anybody else, sir? Annapolis, Maryland. Annapolis, Maryland. Okay. We're over there by the bridge, right? The Chesapeake Bay Bridge. Right. Oh, look at this section over here. There's, is there anybody in here not out of state? Where are you from, sweetheart? Uh, Corden, Indiana. Indiana. State of Indiana. Okay, and you're here with your son? Yes. And he's in a wheelchair? Yes. He, um, he has a, a, they found a tumor in his back. It's malignant. Uh -huh. They removed most of it, but uh, he's under radiation right now, and they um, had an injury during surgery where his foot, he can't feel it. That's why he's in the wheelchair. Mm -hmm. He can't feel the back of his bottom. Well, he's going to be bottom. walking and running out of that wheelchair tonight. Okay. We believe that. Okay. We believe that. You ready? Get ready, all right? Get ready. When I call you, what's your name? Grayson. Who? Grayson. Grayson. What a good name. I'm going to call you. When I call you, you run to me. When I call you. Okay? Is that a deal? All right. Over here. Back here. We drove in from Dallas, Texas. Dallas, Texas. And who are you here with from Dallas? Who, who'd you bring with you? My husband. Okay. And he's in a wheelchair. He had a stroke 20 years ago and then has had some mini strokes. Mm -hmm. Did I, have I seen you in the Dallas meetings at all? Have you been? No. No? Okay. We're glad you're here tonight. Thank, Thank you. you for coming. Thank you. Amen. Over here, this couple right here. From Monroe, Michigan. Monroe, Michigan. Okay. <laughs> Go ahead, sweetheart. Go ahead, ma'am. Yes, I'm here with my husband, and he had some brain injuries, so we're praying for a healing. He had a, was it an accident? or? Yes. Yes. Well, I'm glad he's here, and I'm glad you're here. Yep. I'm glad these women love their husbands enough they bring him to the service. Yes. in Ohio, and my son from Cleveland, Ohio. Your son, where's, he, where's your son? Right in the here. wheelchair? Yeah. That's your son? Yes. What, what's the issue there? He got bit by a tick. Bit by what? A tick, a bad tick that comes from the deer. And he didn't know it, he didn't feel it. And it got worse and worse. And it he went got bit by? A tick. A tick. And it went into ALS. And it went into ALS? Yes. We were here at the last okay. in Pittsburgh. And you prayed over him and said he was healed. Okay. But what kind of progress have we seen? Well, he's here. He's alive. Yeah, right. That's right. That's he's alive. Yes, that's what we right. see. Yes. Come on, somebody shout, I'm alive. I'm alive. As long as you're alive, there's hope. Okay, I'm glad you're back. Thank you. Thank you. How's my friend back here doing? I'm doing great, man. You told me to stay connected to this young man, Christopher, and I've been staying connected, man. He's such an encouragement. To oh, I love it. I love you. Know, you. Look at that smile, y'all. Look I, at that I, smile, I man. I it's a million-dollar it. smile, man. You know? I see Praise it. God. Right here. This lady. This lady. Yes, ma'am. Cleveland, Ohio. Cleveland, Ohio. Great to have you right here. Uh, Cumberland, Maryland. Cumberland, Maryland. Uh huh. A lot of Ohio, Maryland. Uh -huh. Columbus, Ohio. Ohio. Newark, Ohio. In Ohio. North of Baltimore, Maryland. Tell me about where you're from. What do you, you have a church there you go to? Yeah, I've been to your healing school. Oh, you went to the healing school. Which one did you go to? Back in 2019, and then the one this past, um, let's see, it was... Wow. I missed the one in February because I missed my flight. But, okay, okay. Uh, I think it was July, last July, 2022. We're gearing up to have another one right here, another healing school. So, boy, if you've never been to one of these schools, it, isn't it worth it? Oh, yeah. Come to the school. You really get the... Uh, yeah, I have a church in, in Elkton, Maryland. Oh, you pastor a church? I do, yeah. Okay. For about 25 years. 25 years, pastor. Let's give the pastor a big God bless you. Come on. <laughs> Wonderful. Thank you. Thank you. Yes. I'm uh, from Virginia. From where? 
Virginia, Washington DC. Alexandria, Virginia. Virginia. Yes. Thank sir. you. And with my niece. Virginia. Yeah. That's your niece? My niece, yes, sir. Mm. I'm glad you're here. Uh, Lord. You're here for a miracle? Yo, yes, I am. What, you, what, what are you fighting there in the wheelchair? Um, I'm not, um, I broke my leg and after surgery and never re recovered. Mm -hmm. So it had a lot of pain and I don't want to take painkillers, so I'm in a wheelchair. Well, I'm glad you're here. There'll be no more pain tonight. Praise the Lord. No more pain tonight. I receive it. No more pain. Wilmington, Delaware. Wilmington, Delaware. Yes. That's the home of our president. Yeah. yeah. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> we pray for him. Yes, ma'am. West Virginia. Come on, let's give God praise for everybody here tonight. Oh, over here. You? I'm from New York State. You're from New York. State. What part of New York? Uh, central New York. Central. So we have upper state, lower state, central. Amen. Thank you, sir. I think God's after New York. That's what I think. And I'm ready. I'm ready. Hey, Terry, come here. This is Terry Mars, such a... Terry and her husband, Vince, were some of my original partners, I'll tell you. How you doing? I'm doing good. Mm -hmm. God is good. God tell, is faithful. Tell us what's so happening. I've lost yeah. my husband about two and a half months ago. Mm -hmm. And my husband and I stood in faith. And we believe he got the ultimate healing. Mm -hmm. He did. And, you know, he has done such a work in our lives. We've been through a lot. But we've been planting in this good ground mm -hmm. for decades. Amen. And we have been blessed by that. And God is so good. And let me just say that God is so good in telling us that it's the, the hope we have in Jesus. It's the real deal. It is a real deal. And God will confirm his word to us. Mm -hmm. And he, he has shown me without a shadow of a doubt where my husband is. Mm -hmm. And so I just want to give him the praise and the glory and the honor. And, you know, even we, you know, I'm sad. I've been with my guy for 50 years. I've been married 42. Mm. But, you know, I have peace. Yeah. I'm in peace. And I'm, I'm getting stronger and stronger. And they contended. See, there's nothing more you can do than to contend for your miracle. Right. Yes. And knowing that they contended, they fought a good fight. Amen. So many people just give in. Yes. Amen. And they think, well, there's no hope. And that was not the way of this family. And she said it right, the ultimate healing. Right. I mean, the, that moment that less breath is taken, uh, th I believe, this whole group here believes, you go somewhere. Amen. Come on. Amen. You go somewhere. Amen. Say it, Terry. Absent from the body, present with the Lord. That's Today, right. you are with me in paradise. Oh. Today. And so it is with beyond a shadow of a doubt. And I'll, I'll tell you, God gave me a dream. Hmm. We have a farm. I saw my husband, I was talking to two high school friends in this dream, and all of a sudden I see my husband on this brand new John Deere tractor, which he would love, and I hear this guy running behind him saying, he won the prize, he won the grand prize ticket, and I said, yes he did, he's in heaven. God. Now, you said you're going to help work here, right? I, you? Yes, I did. I said. I heard you. You I, did. Yes, I did. So we're going to launch this, right? Yes, we are. Okay. Get ready, Pittsburgh. Get, we've been prophesying this for decades, right? Decades. That's decades. So. Who's going to help me here in the city of Pittsburgh? Let me see. Yes. You're, Tina, you're going to help? And Ash? you can, you got to bring more than cookies to help me, I'll tell you that. <laughs> I don't need the cookies. I need other help. Let's give God a big shout tonight. Come on. Come on, a real big one. I mean a big one. Do we have any testimonies here? People have been touched the last couple of meetings. Anybody healed? Kathy, is quickly. Yes, sir. Come on, big guy. Yes. Yeah, Don. Quickly, ma'am, touched. Come. Come. She has a piece of paper with her, looks like, right? Is that a piece of paper? You do. Bring, bring it. I want to hear Kathy, let me get this. Oh, no, what is that? That's cloth. Tell me. Tell me what your story is. 
What happened? Um, I came um, in March and I couldn't move my, my knee. I couldn't bend it at all because it was so swollen. It was like a balloon. And um, you touched me. I, I've suffered with arthritis for 16 years. I'm about to have another birthday this month and I don't want to make it 17. Um, I've had arthritis for that long and you touched me and I am able to go down the stairs and up the stairs and um, I do. <laughs> Thank you. I do have a little bit more swelling. Um, uh, I've had knee uh, ACL repair in this one and I'm believing God that he's just going to heal me. And if he knee. can fake you out, yes. he'll fake you out. Yes, you know, if you leave the meeting, if you leave the presence where you receive and he knows you're alone and you're not here, he can come at your mind and come at your body and he's going to try you whenever the surrounding forces that helped you aren't there. Yeah. I mean, you know, most burglars wait till mom and dad are away. And when the, you know, when they catch the way, the mice play, you know, and uh, you got to be ready for that, uh, that onslaught of the devil saying you're not healed or here's the pain again. That's when you have to be strong. Yeah. Come on, say no way, devil. No way, devil. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. I know what happened. I, know what happened. I, felt, what happened. I felt what happened. You cannot have my healing. You cannot have my healing. Come on, you cannot have my breakthrough. You cannot that's what you have to do, and you have to do that alone. Yes. When nobody's around and there's no music, and it don't, it don't make any sense for you to do that, that's whenever you have to get engaged. Yes. That's how this works. That's how this works. I mean, this is an amazing atmosphere that we have here. But boy, a lot of times this isn't here, and you have to fight in that atmosphere. And, and so this was, this was the, one of the greatest miracles you've had in a... Yes, I've... I, you touched me, and I didn't have any pain. And Where do you go to church? you have a church? Uh, Grace Life Church, yes. Grace Life Church. Yes. And what's this here? Um, these are just handkerchiefs. What would you bring these for? Um, my mother and my father. Um, my mother suffers from um, fibromyalgia. My family lives so in you Washington. you already got a miracle, and yes. you're already <laughs> trying to spread it. Yes. My, my parents live in Washington State. So. She's already trying to spread it. Yes. Amen. What do you think of that? Amen. We, we have a super spreader over here. Amen. We have a super spreader over here. Amen. I love it. I love it. Put your hands up. Holy Spirit, I thank you for this girl, for her faith and for her out forward attitude about telling people. I see the love of God in this girl so deep. I, hear, I feel the presence. Touch every cloth. And every cloth that this touches, let the presence go right through it. Somebody give God a shout, I'll tell you. Wow. What happened here? Kathy, come on, I'm sorry. Kathy Bukowski, how, what happened here? I had a miracle. Tell I had a miracle. It was wonderful. I've been fighting hip pain for two years. I do my exercises, and I can keep the pain at bay. But I hurt my back about four months ago trying to catch my mom when she was falling, and I mm. wrenched my back. I went to the doctor. He took care of the back pain. But he did an x-ray, and he said that I have scoliosis. Whoa, Which you didn't was, know you had. No, I didn't. And that made sense as to why I had this hip pain. So actual I found, curvature. Exactly, right. And so if I'm asymmetrical, then my muscles, my tendons, wow. my, my, everything's off balance. And that wow. would cause these, this pain. And so I didn't do my exercises while I had the back pain. Because it hurt too bad. But once the back pain was done and resolved, I went ahead and started doing my exercises again. And I thought, well, this is enough. I'm going to go down to the park, and I'm going to try this out. Because I could walk on even ground, even surfaces, like at home, at church, wherever. But, but I, I, I couldn't walk on uneven ground or on even the slightest incline would cause this wow. pain yeah. bad. Yeah. So I went to the park. I went down the hill. I was fine. Yeah. I went along the, the ground, yeah. and it was a little uneven. Yeah. I went 20 steps, started up again. Yeah. And I thought, now I've got to get up the hill. Wow. I took one step up the hill, and the pain, it's sharp, shooting, it's stabbing, it's excruciating. I cry out. It's bad. It's bad. And I, I, I have to stiffen this leg and sort of drag it to get back 
into the car and I can't even get seated in the car. It's bad. So I brought my Bible with me. I had my phone with me and I thought I'm going to drive somewhere and I'm going to just get into the Word. I decided to pull up Miracle Mentorship. <gasps> Come on. If you're not in this Miracle Mentorship, you know, if you're not in this, you need to join it. Amen. It's $19, almost $20 a month, 1997, five bucks a week, yeah. and we send you a video or a DVD, an MP3 download, however you want it. And we just, we nurture. Amen. We just help you nurture. We help you Amen. make contact. I don't dismiss these meetings having the full confidence that everybody's actually making contact. And if I didn't have the right help when I was young, I, I wouldn't have made contact either. I, I'm telling you the truth. The devil has a way of keeping your life busy, keeping you distracted, yes. getting your priorities all out of what they should be, yes. even checking uh, and messing with your value, your core values. What's really important to you? What really matters? What really matters at the end of the day? All those places that you've been, all those, all those pictures of the Grand Canyon really matters? Been to Niagara Falls five times. Does that really matter? Think about what really matters. And you'll find that a lot of our life has been derailed from what really matters. All we try to do every Monday, Tuesday, we just take some time, we film it, and it's getting so strong and growing that I'm really thinking of putting together something more, more substantive than what it really didn't start. I just started out to help people through the virus. It was just meant to nurture people that don't take this jaw shot and, you know, stay strong. And I, it was just meant to be that, but it grew and it grew. And from all over the world, it grew. Hallelujah. And I can just say to you, it's not a bad deal for 1997. Amen. Yes. 1997. Why don't you do it for free, Pastor Billy? I said 1997. Didn't you hear what I said? 1997. <laughs> but that, you, you pulled into that. So I pulled up Miracle Mentorship. Oh, this is amazing. Praise the Lord. I pulled it up, and you said, Someone had given a testimony about being healed in their car. Oh. And I was in my car. Oh. And I said, I would love to be healed in my car. <laughs> so then I kept listening and I had to get back to my mom's house. So I was driving and you said, there's someone being healed of scoliosis. Yeah. And I, I had to pull the car over. I'll bet. I'll bet. And... I can remember hearing you, but I didn't process that. Something happened. In that moment, I can't think of words, except I said to someone, I felt like I got elevated out of a realm of pain and into a realm of no pain. That's how it felt. He touched me. Something happened. Something. Something happened. happened. Come on, now I know. Now I know. He touched me. I ran to a guy at the grocery store that had been to one of our meetings. <laughs> He received the baptism in the Holy Spirit. He was speaking in tongues. And I seen him maybe, I don't know, six months later. And he said, hey, this, Billy Burke, is that you? I said, yeah. And I said, yeah. And he said, do you remember me? I said, kind of, sort of. He said, I received the baptism in the Holy Spirit at your meeting probably six months ago. I said, great. And he said, it doesn't work for me. I said, pardon me? He said, it doesn't work for me. I said, what doesn't work for you? He said, you know, the tongues, the tongue part of it. I said, okay, what do you mean it doesn't work for you? He said, I don't know, it just doesn't work for me. I said, so you're telling me the Holy Spirit it has gypped you out of a deal. Is that what you're telling me? He said, well, I don't know if I'm saying it quite like that, but I had it at the meeting, but now I don't have it. 
I said, well, do you want to get it right here in the grocery store? Do you want to do it just right here? Do you want to talk? He said, right here. Through. I said, right here where the milk is. Do you want to do that? He said, you mean it can happen? I said, it can happen right here, right on the half and half. Right with that half and half you're holding. It can happen. He said, well, I, I didn't think it would work like that. Oh, it works everywhere. Amen. I said, but you have to work it. You have to have faith. Amen. You have to have faith for everything. Amen. That system out there is trying to break our faith. It's trying to help us or make us not believe in the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. In the God of the Apostle Paul and, and the Jesus that walked out of that grave after three days dead. Amen. That Holy Spirit that fell on the upper room. And they spewed on the main street. And it was a sound heard around the world. And it was a sound heard all through the underworld. The church has power. The church has power. I'll tell you what, ladies and gentlemen, the, none, none of this just is automatic. Automatic stopped the day the Garden of Eden was closed. In the Garden of Eden, everything was automatic. Automatic food, automatic presence, automatic. But the day that that curse came, the day that the garden was closed, the day that man and woman ate the forbidden fruit, the garden was closed. Everything automatic stopped. Amen. Now animals had to be slaughtered. Hundreds and hundreds of thousands of animals lost their life so blood could be smelt. Animal blood. It was a prerequisite. It was a foreshadow of, of the blood that Jesus would, would shed. And then from there, the Holy Spirit had to be carried in a wooden box. And then from there, he went from a wooden box to a marble temple. And then another marble temple. And then here comes Jesus. He dies. He raises from the dead. And then he says, now it's no longer a box or marble. I'm putting this presence in my people. Come on, somebody give. Come on, somebody. Come on, somebody give God a shout. Come on, come on. Come on, say, he's in me. The moment you get born again, he's no longer everywhere. He's in you. And if you'll feed that presence, everything in you needs to be fed. Your flesh wants fed. Your body wants fed. And if you feed your flesh and you feed your, your, your soul, you feed your old life, your old nature, then that'll be, that'll be the predominant force in your life. But if you feed your spirit, I mean, if you feed it the written word, if you feed it, you know, the, the ministry, if you'll just sit and soak in meetings like this. Before I knew the word of God, that's all I knew how to do. That's all I just pulled on Catherine's apron strings. Until she finally said, you need to go somewhere else and train. <laughs> Listen to me. This, this is available to you. There's, there's unlimited measure available to you. And all you have to do is act like you want it. If, you don't, if you're not at the place where you can do that yourself, then get the CDs, get the DVDs, or get on, get on the Internet, stream with some places. Get in front of people that carry it. That's all you do. I remember having to drive from Greensburg through the Squirrel Hill Tunnels and when the roads were brick. Come on. <laughs> and you want to talk about driving in a little sports car, had a little tiny sports car, a a on brick roads, and the car, would, it was difficult. And the steel mills, it was stinking and smelling. And I had to come the whole way, probably an hour, a little over, just to get into her meetings. I would bring my friends to meet her. And that was always a holy hoot right there, I'll tell you that. Because they could never figure out, that lady helped you? I said, that lady is very, very powerful. They said, that lady don't look like she can lift a toothpick. I said, don't go near her. Don't even go near her. They'll be carrying you out of here. And they said, you're crazy. Well, when the people started falling, they said, they left. We're out of here. <laughs> so it's important that you make an effort to get into his presence. And I'm glad you're here, but there's more than this. And that's what Kathy's talking about. That's what she's talking about. That force hit her in the car, right? After you're talking about it, it was strong. Oh, it was strong. And I got, I, I felt elevated. So right away I had to 
get the car going. I went around the block. I pulled into my mom's garage, and all I heard was, go, go. I had, pro I was propelled, and I got out of the car, and I started up the sidewalk, up an incline. I just couldn't walk less than an hour ago. I couldn't walk. Well, somebody give God a I shout. Come on, come on. It was amazing. I went up the sidewalk, and your teaching was calling on the name. And I always call in the name of Jesus. And I went up that sidewalk and I was saying, I'm healed in the name of the Holy One of Israel. I'm healed in the name of the Holy One of Israel. And I went up and around the bed. No pain at all. Somebody better give God a shout. Come on. Amazing. Amazing. You have to get engaged. That's what she's talking about. Being here is great. Getting whatever you receive here is great. But what you receive here should be too big for you to contain. It should be, you, you can control it. A city, Jesus said these words, a city set on a hill, you can't hide it. There should be something beginning to seep through. Even, even your difficult times, the glory can still shine through you. Everything don't have to be perfect in your life for, for people to see the love and the light of Jesus in you. It doesn't have to be that way. It says of the Hebrew kids when they came out of the fiery furnace, they didn't even smell like smoke. Imagine coming out of a furnace and there was not a smell of smoke. You don't have to wear your circumstances. You don't have to wear your broken heart. Amen. Well, how my husband broke my heart. Yeah, and the whole church has seen it for the past 10 years. I, I, I'm, I feel bad. I don't, want, I don't want you to stay broke. I don't want you to live with a fractured soul. You can be healed. You can be healed. I said to Oral Roberts, last time I saw him alive, we were sitting talking, and I said, what's one of the greatest things you could say you've achieved? He said, I outlived all my enemies. <laughs> he, was nine, he was 93 at the time, and I said, I thought that was kind of crass for him to say that. And I said, oh, doctor, and I laughed. I said, so, so what was it? He said, I just told you. People that mocked me, mocked the healing ministry, mocked me, me building the university. People that made fun of this and made fun of that, they went. I stayed. My time is upon me, but I stayed. Amen. God gave me the satisfaction of seeing my life extended. Amen. So it's very, very important that you contend for this. It's not an automatic. The curse of your dad and your mother, the, that family curse, is going to try and get you before you go. The headaches, the heart disease, the arteries. You know, all of those things come out. It doesn't attack you when you're young. It waits till you're 40, 50. Then that plaque shows up or that calcification shows up. And then you just begin to think, oh, I guess I got what my dad does. No, it's a curse. It's a negative pattern. You don't have to go that way. When that blood was shed on Calvary's cross. Oh, I'm getting the Holy Ghost. When that blood was shed on Calvary's cross. It was to go down into the structure of your whole family line. Amen. One, two, three, four, five generations, whatever. Yes. So that you don't. You say, yeah, but we all have to die somehow. We don't die, we don't die quitting. That's right. we, don't. Come on. we go out fighting. We Amen. go out in a blaze of glory. Amen. We're here to reflect our leader who just said, hey, here I am. Give me your best shot. Give me your best shot. His hands wasn't clenched. They were open. Give me everything you have. But I'll be back in three days. Oh, somebody help me here. Come on, somebody help me tonight. Come on. That's our leader. That's the captain of the host. That's who we're following. That's whose drumbeat we march to. That's who we want to be like. We're made in his image and his likeness. Come on, say his image, his image. And, his likeness. and his likeness. Kathy, it's a great story. I want to put that on television. It's huh? a great story. It, it gets better. Oh. 
after I went up the incline, yeah. then there was a steeper one, and I said, God, what do I do with that? And he said, go, 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 and I went up. And then I took about five more steps, and I heard this man's voice crying out for help. And I looked to the house next door, and the door was ajar. There was like a prosthetic leg brace keeping the door open. Oh, wow. And I went up and here a man who um, uses a wheelchair, had fallen out of his wheelchair. He had been there for four hours. It was getting dark. I don't know that anyone was going to come along. I, and I thought about that. And I thought, thank you, Lord. I thought, thank you, Lord. If I'm only healed to help this man. This, <laughs> but he said, he wow. said, no, no, wow. no. Huh? You are healed forever. I've been, I, I ministered to the man. He's a born again Christian, loves the Lord. And we've, we've talked and it's just been wonderful. I told him about you and Catherine Coleman. He said how I'd love to be healed. So he doesn't have internet, but I told him I was going to bring the live stream back to him. We're going to oh watch it together. My. And um, I praise the Lord. But I've been trying out my hip, and I can go up steep inclines around bends. I can go for a long time. And, and my, my, I'm symmetrical now. You're I'm what? straight. My, my my frame Can't, is straight. She's not going to tell you this, but I'm going to tell you this. This lady has volunteered here. I don't know how many years. How many years have you been volunteering? Nine. Nine mm -hmm. years. You'll see her right at the product table in Monroeville. Wee hours of the morning, packing up, making sure things are shipped back to Florida. Asking for nothing. Not a dime. Not a dime. But faithful. I'm going to tell you something, ladies and gentlemen. You can't outgive God. Amen. Find a place to donate your time. I mean, Amen. give your money. That we need your money. Every every charity that's worth anything needs your money to, to do what it does. Or any church, right? Amen. But give more than money. Amen. What's greater than money? You, your time, Amen. your energy. energy. Show God you're letting him. You're letting him cut into your time zone. A lot of people just want to buy the ticket, the speeding ticket away, buy their kids out of jail. So money solves problems. We, we're happy for what money does, but there's something about you, you serving somewhere. I told you we're opening up a major 911 miracle hotline here in Pittsburgh. We are on the verge of doing that. Yeah. Okay, so. I'm not going to get into that tonight, but I'm, we're going to need a lot of help. I can't wait to see in this group who helps us. I can't wait. Amen. Give me a sign. How many is going to help us with this? Three people. That's great. <laughs> it's like me, myself, and I. We need to reach out. We need to get this healing signal out there. We're getting, we're getting so many calls in. Alaska, Germany, Italy. France. They're coming in from all over the world. We can't get to these people. We'd like to see a super station right here. Amen. A miracle 24 hour hotline where you, people, get on these phones and just all you do is answer those calls of these calls that are coming in. Amen. Hallelujah. Come and help us. Thank you so much, Kathy. Thank Give her a big God bless you. Come on. Hi. Yes. What's going on here? Hi. Um, I had a lot of pain in my neck. And then I also had a lymph node that wouldn't go away. Oh. Numbness in my face. And so I came here and I knew that I had an upcoming biopsy and a scan. And I, that's all I had a chance to tell you. And you just looked at me and said, there, there's nothing wrong with you. So uh, then I went under the power. Very, I felt the power of God strong on me. And uh, it ended up that the scan did show a mass in my neck. Um, but that word from God was such an encouragement to me. I had no fear for that month and a half while I waited for surgery. And they did take out the mass and four enlarged lymph nodes, and it was all benign. So just so, felt very... So, <laughs> so, so the word was, there's nothing wrong with you. That was the word, and, yeah. And it's the truth. There was nothing wrong with you. There wasn't. Yeah, and that's what my family kept mm -hmm. saying, you know. They're, 
you got surgery, but it's going to be fine. There's nothing wrong with you. There's a reason. There's a reason for surgery at times. I'm going to say it. I've had surgeries. There's a reason for that. He, you know, it's, it'd be great if we could choose the way God wants to heal. But when you, if you have to go through a surgery, a lot of times it's for the surgeon. Especially if you go in there praising him and saying God's touching me and healing me and. Who's to say that those weren't cancer cells and then by the time they got in there, they were... Amen. I've had so many people go in and they, there was cancer. When they got in, the cancer cells were dead. Amen. I've had those, several of those kind of surgeries for people that told me. Came to a meeting, got prayer, believed they were healed. Well, why did they have to have surgery? You're getting into an area that I visit quite a bit. I don't know. I don't do this because I know uh, everything. I just know a little more than you. That's all I know. Okay, a little more. <laughs> he is in charge. Amen. It's, I like him being in charge. Amen. Come on, say, if he gets all the glory, if he gets all the glory then he also gets all the responsibility. He gets all the responsibility. Come on, give God a big, big shout. Come on. Come on. Come on. It's powerful. That's amazing. Well, where do you go to church, ma'am? Do you go to church somewhere? I do. Where? I, I go over to... Um, uh, Assembly of God in Allison Park. Okay. Pastor Leak. Jim Leak? Yes. Really? Mm hmm. He's a great man. He is. He used to be in Monroeville. Yes. Well, his father did. Ah. Mm -hmm. Very good man. Mm hmm. Wow. Your eyes okay? Mm hmm. Touch these eyes. Touch these eyes. Oh, that Holy Ghost. That's the power. Wow. Wow. Come on, big guy. Uh-oh. You're walking around here pretty good. Yeah, 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 yeah. Come on now. First, I want to thank, uh, give praise for the, pray uh, we were praying for the singer, and she's yes. back. She wasn't here last, last month. I'm happy to see her, and I hear her. <laughs> so I'm praising God for that. But on my testimony, uh, I don't know how many months it's been. But I ain't in no pain. No pain. I'm old and I can't. And you know, it took years to get this way, so I guess it's going to take a little time to heal I completely. But I ain't in no pain. I was scheduled for surgery. I went back to my doctor and I said, Look, I've been healed. I don't need no surgery. He said, I believe in healings. If you don't want no, no surgery, well, wait until you need it. I still wait don't what? need wait it. Till what? Wait till you need it. Yeah, I still don't need it. I ain't in no pain. As long as I ain't in no pain, I don't need no surgery. So I want to thank God for that. I don't know how many months it's been, but since November, my man just hogged. <laughs> that's, your, that's your homestead boy, right? Homestead? Homewood. 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 Homestead. Homewood. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, so every, every time you come, I got to give my testimony because God has healed me. I bet you tell a lot of people, don't you? I promised the Lord if he healed me, I'd tell. I tell a lot of people. A lot of people don't want to accept it and don't believe it. That's on them. I still tell them. Your mother would be proud of you. My mother's past. I know she'd be proud of you. What was your mother's name? Olga. Olga. Mm -hmm. Olga. Your dad, his name? Homer. Homer. He, he was a preacher. He's passed. So your dad was a preacher. This is starting to make sense here, Rod, that you're talking to you. You know, they say about them preacher's kids, they <laughs> terrible. But I was, but I ain't no more. <laughs> you used to be. Yeah. Yeah, I got a testimony. <laughs> There's a presence about you. You carry a presence. You know, God has really... Worked with me. Yeah. That's a good way of putting it. Works with all of us, but he's, I, that work is leaving off that aroma. Paul said there's an aroma of life unto life or death unto death. You have an aroma of life unto life. It's beautiful. I love standing in front of you all the time. Every time we talk, I feel something. Mm. Give this man a big God bless you. This mighty father. All the God. Come on. Quickly, Don, quickly. Um, in the meeting uh, in uh, 
downtown at the uh, Renaissance, uh, at the Marriott, at the Marriott last month. I came expecting God to heal, you know, uh, you've been, the last couple of months been praying about for my digestive system and anything. And then you gave a word, uh, uh, Holy Spirit, L5, uh, L4, L5. And, and there was a whole, and bunch of us, but the thing is, when that came up, you know, the Holy Spirit kept on, and he told me, you need to go up. I want you to pray. And because um, a make couple, my life couple years ago, what it ought to be. I want you to stand here with your husband, please. Oh. Let's all stand for a moment. Come on. Can we sing this, guys? Bruce, the Holy Spirit. Oh. Every hand up, Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit. Move. Come on, make my life. And God's going to do in Youngstown, and there's going to be a mighty work there, and you're going to be in the center of this. It's not going to be a church. It's going to be a living cell. And you're going to do it together. Not you without your husband, and not you without your wife. But you will be the Aquila and Priscilla of Youngstown. Get ready. Get ready. And get ready. That's part of the whole thing. And make, make my life what it to be. What's going on, man? Hey, brother, you doing good? You doing yes, good? I'm doing great. Tell me what's happened. So uh, about a year ago, I was diagnosed with multiple myeloma, the blood cancer. Bone cancer. Multiple myeloma. A year ago. And I've come to see you. This is my third time being here. And I am healed. Somebody! Come on, somebody! Somebody better do a little bit better than that! My God! Woo! Now, see, when you hear that, I, I can't go... I mean, if I could uh, rent a helicopter and, and drop a megaphone all over this city, I would do it. That would be ridiculous. But you have the power to get to your Facebook friends. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. You have the power to go home tonight and send out as many emails or whatever you want to do. Text messages. Yeah. How could you not? How could you keep this quiet? So you, you've received a clean bill of health. Yeah, well, I mean, I have an appointment next week with my hematologist, but um, they brought me in to do a stem cell transplant, which mm -hmm. I received. Mm -hmm. But they said that I was going to um, spike a fever and be re-hospitalized after they discharged me. Never did. None, none of the side effects. I lost, I, my hair thinned and I, I buzzed it down, but that was it. The, the, uh, the nausea from the, the chemo or so, whatever. So you, so God touched you, healed yes. you. Is your wife, do you have a wife? Or, yeah. And where's she at? Yes. Back there. Andrea. Andrea, come here, Andrea, a minute. Can you come here a minute? Don't hide, Mom. <laughs> <laughs> he said, don't hide, Mom. <laughs> Oh, your boy figured you out, I'll tell you that. And make my life what it is. Isn't this amazing? Uh-huh. Yeah. So this has benefited your whole family. Yeah. Wow. Do you tell anybody about this? Everybody. 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 
I mean, I've, and I've run into more people who are either going through cancer or have a loved one that's fighting cancer. Mm -hmm. And I tell them, like, you can be healed. Amen. And I, I we, there was a, a lady who owns a coffee shop, um, has breast cancer, and we were there, and I prayed, we prayed with her. Oh, right in the middle I of the love coffee. it. I just love it. So, I, I, I know that I'm healed because I can tell how I feel. It says, that, it says be ye fo a follower of the Lord Jesus. The word follow in Greek means to be an imitator. Be an imitator. Love people, imitate his love. Imitate his, his compassion for the sick. Amen. Imitate, you know, you say, yeah, but I don't want to give somebody downtown money. He's just going to go buy whiskey. How do you know? When God invested in you, were you good ground? Were you good ground when God invested in you? You better tell me you were not. When his seed hit your bad ground, your bad ground became good ground. We forget our God's a converter. We got to be careful with this choosing that's bad ground, that's bad ground. That, how do you know? You're judging by outward. You're judging by what you can see. Some of those guys down there that are swimming in Whiskey River, all they need is a seed. Five bucks from you. Five bucks and a prayer. Goes into that thing, and you, you're, you're so sure it's going to buy alcohol. Well, that's, that's called reverse faith. You better say, I, I'd rather say, I'm going to put five bucks into that and go down there and break that curse. Be a good seed. I think there's a lot of wrong preaching out there. That's, that's keeping us from our time and our money from affecting culture. I, I just think we can affect culture in a much greater way if you weren't as scared of people that are different. Yeah, but they're living really, really wrong. Well, so were you and so was I. But somebody sowed into Billy Burke's life. Somebody prayed for me while they held their nose. Somebody said, I, I'm just, I, there's something here that God's going to do. And you better not read the Bible because Mary Magdalene had seven devils and she was a whorish woman. The Bible says a whorish woman will turn a man into a morsel of bread. That's in the scriptures. It means the person who's, you know, and that's who Mary Magdalene was. And you know how she ended up. Apostle Paul killed people killed Christians he was on his way to kill more Christians and that light from heaven hit him Ananias was so afraid of him that when God told him to go heal him his eyes he said don't you know God that man's a killer and, and God said I think I know that but I also know that this man is going to suffer many things for my namesake and then because of his suffering and because of what he's about to accomplish, many, well, the guy established seven churches. Besides Jesus, no one wrote more of the New Testament than the Apostle Paul. But don't read his letters because he was a killer. And don't go to Mary Magdalene's Bible study because she was the lady of the night. And don't go to Peter's church because he denied the Lord. And don't go to Judas' church because he took money. <laughs> Where are you going to go and find perfect people? Come on, say, I'm glad that the Lord found me, invested in me, and is making me his plans, his purposes for his glory. Come on, give God a big, big shout. Powerful. So what do you have here? Is that an offering? Yes. So who's that for? That's for you. Oh. <laughs> Who told you to do this, your mom? I just thought of it myself. <laughs> he did. I have some tithing money for my weekly commission, and I've been praying, and now that we're here tonight, 
Wow. Wow. Where'd he get this? Where'd he get this? Talk to me, Dad. He got it from us. What a Father's Day gift that is. He is the greatest gift. He's a great gift. God kept you alive. Yes. Yeah. Kept you alive to be. Because I don't know the, the last year when we were here at this very place. Berry Hotel. Same very hotel. same hotel. Cranberry. I How many like Cranberry, by the way? Do you like yeah. the Cranberry meeting? I, I couldn't lift him up. You couldn't pick him up. Well, let's see you pick him up now. Can you pick The spirit of faith works. Amen. God is faithful. Yes, yes. Not automatic. If it's automatic, we could all be home in 20 minutes. Amen. It's not automatic. It requires your involvement. It requires your faith Amen. to hook up with him. Yes. These are just a few stories of people that did. Amen. Don't quit. Don't give up. The worse it looks, the better it can become. Amen. It's never too late. Never too late. How are you doing? You were here. What for? What happened? Come here. Come up here. Get this girl up here. I recognize her just a minute. Don't go away, guys. You were here. You were fighting cancer. I am. Um, I don't even like to use that word fighting, okay. but um, stage three C ovarian cancer. Uh, they said in November that the next six months will be my best. That was November. What month are we in? June. Do I look sick? <laughs> do I look like I have ovarian cancer? Why do you think I don't look sick? Because I am healed. Come on, somebody! I am healed. I am healed. No matter what they say, no matter what that scan says. I'm sorry, go ahead. So I did have, I have chemo tomorrow. Mm -hmm. But they did a CT scan, they did an echocardiogram, and my CA-125 is stable. So everything is stable, but I know I'm healed. I know I'm healed. See, see listen to me. It, instant miracles, are we love those the best. But I'm not so sure it doesn't take more faith to go through something. Yes. To fight it and watch people watch you fight it. And so a lot of times your miracle is for somebody else more than you. Yes. And you don't even realize that. Yes. Her, her soul's already secured. Her faith's already spot on. But as she battles this, as she tells you tomorrow's a treatment, but I know I am. She's actually giving you, she's schooling you on how you do this. Amen. You do this. You, you put your faith on the line continually. And you don't quit. Amen. Come on, say one speed. One speed. Come on, say no reverse. No reverse. Avante. Avante. Forward. Forward. Come on, give him a mighty shout. Thank you. Thank you. This mighty touch. This mighty touch. Oh, the power's all over you. Father, oh, the Holy Ghost. Yes. I'm so happy for you. Yeah. I, I, what's going on here can't even be. Oh, uh, it's. I mean, I, I can't explain it. I mean, even like through all the treatments and stuff and this and healing and this young lady here who's with her somebody's with her it's accelerating you tell her I said that it's accelerating every time you testify especially whenever you testify while it's in progress stop this attitude well, I'm going to wait till I'm really healed before I tell somebody no no a thousand times no you testify you are a miracle in motion amen I love what she said. I'm going to Mar. My markers are this, but I know I am. Yeah. That's how you fight. Amen. That way you're not pulling up, you know, people know you're going through it, then you're declaring it. You're putting his name, not your own, his name on the line. Amen. He likes his name on the line. Amen. Come on, say, don't leave home without it. Come on. Yeah, all, of, all of my blood work is spot on These normal. These stories tonight are just amazing. And I, 
I ended up getting high blood pressure in the middle of my treatments. Yeah. Blood pressure is gone. Oh, my word. I mean, I went in for my transplant on high blood pressure medicine. Uh, and during the transplant process, they, the doctors come in, they're like, you don't need this anymore. My, my blood pressure is like 129 over 80. And any other, your name is but I call you Lord. I call the power, the power, the power. Let him go, the power. Come on, your name. Your name is higher than any other. Yes, sir. What's going happening here? First things first. <laughs> Happy Father's Day to all the fathers. And I'm a real blessed man. Okay? There's been so many things going on in my life and around my life in the past eight months. And the ministry that God blessed me with, One Love Unity Ministry, we a year-long ministry. Even in the snow, we're out in the street ministering. And uh, we just picked that back up yesterday. The Holy Spirit said it's time. My wife, you know everything. All that stuff's good. But I didn't come up here to testify about a healing. I came up here to testify about the people in these rooms, man. You know, I came up here two months ago. You were here, I believe, right here. Mm -hmm. And the young lady I call my daughter, I don't have any kids, but I'm a spiritual father. And she came with her whole family, her 14-year-old daughter, her 5-year-old son, and her 1-year-old baby. And when I testified about them and everything like that, a gentleman who's here today, God bless him, came up to me. And he said, here, man, take care of them. Get and he the handed money. me some money. Yeah. And it brought tears to my eyes, man. You know, because... The devil got people so much caught up in thinking that white and black and so forth and so forth can't care for one another. Amen. No. And I see that's not a case up in here. You know, it's not a case, man. There's healing going on. There's healings going on big time up in here. I met this man in November and I only missed one meeting, you know, <laughs> all right? And I'm grateful for that, but I'm seeing so much more. Wow. Because God has got me going to the churches in Homewood. Okay, we're going to blow up from there. But getting them to come to understand that we're supposed to be one. Like God and his son and the Holy Spirit are one. That these churches need to be one too. So we're looking for next year to have five, six, seven, eight churches doing their community day together. Love it. You know, and it's coming to the pastors I'm talking to are with it and everything like that. So I'm real grateful for that. Keep us informed. Yes, we'll be sir. part of it. We'll, oh, man, we'll love that. Okay. Okay. All right. Thank you, man. Okay. Thank you all. Come on, give God a shout. Come on. Wow. Listen, you know, it gives me great confidence and privilege to ask you to sow seed yes. into this ministry. Amen. Because yeah. this, this, what you hear, these stories, that's why people say, why do you take so long with this? Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? If this it never gets back to you, this is a confirmation. Yes. Not just that he is Lord and that he's the same yesterday, today, and forever. Amen. But that in this community of monthly meetings that we're doing here, he's faithful. Yes, he it's worth your support. Amen. Hallelujah. And you gave in to this. I, there's no telling 
there's no telling how much God could bless you. Amen. Not just in money, but in health. Yes. In favor. Yes. Don't miss this opportunity. Give. Help us tonight. You know, we're really reaching out into more broadcasting. Want to let more people know that we're here. Yes. But I told you about this phone ministry we're going to get into, this phone station, this center, this miracle hotline. It's coming to pass. I'm speaking it into existence. Put your hands up all over the place. Come on, I'm going to pray. I want you to give tonight. I want every single person here to give something. I do. You should. Holy Spirit, I thank you for every person here tonight that's heard every story, that sang every song, that's here for their spiritual strengthening. To become more aware of your presence. To become more aware of your order of things for their lives. We thank you tonight that you have been faithful. You've watched over your word to perform it. You've touched so many and many more to be touched. I ask you to bless every single person here tonight financially. That no media fear or hype that nothing in the economy at all cripple in any way the blessing you have for the people that are sitting here tonight. I pray that their seed be blessed and multiplied ravishly in Jesus' name. Everybody said, make your check out to the World Outreach. If you're giving cash or credit card, debit card, just put that on the envelope like my lady friend right here. Just put it right on there when you put it in the bucket up here. Take it. Take a few moments, please. Come on, stand to your feet. Put your gift up above your head. Come on, say, I freely give it tonight. In Jesus' name. Come on up, everybody, quickly. What's that? Tonight. Okay, tonight. For it reaches, for it reaches to the high, highest mountain, oh, and, it flows and it flows to the, to the lowest valley. The blood that gives me strength. Those testimonies. went so I need you to let me know what time what time is it now what do you what clock are you going by 1002 okay I was just telling Jim the battery in my watch went so I don't want to keep looking at my watch and thinking it's only 20 to 9 or something <laughs> and keep you here till 1 in the morning I don't want to do that so I'm giving Jim permission to give me a signal. What's what time now? 10. 10.02. Yeah. 10.02. Can you give me a little bit of time to pray for you tonight? Yes. yes. Can you do that tonight? Yes. Are you yes. sure? Yes. 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 You came all the way from where? You came from? Michigan. Michigan. You're going to be in Michigan in September, I think, October. Mm-hmm. It's going to be at, uh, in Lansing. Lansing. There's a, there's a healing center there called the Gilead Healing Center. 
An amazing place. Amazing. Dr. Dr. Gee. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Amen. Let's stand to our feet. Let's worship a little bit, guys. Can we just sing a couple songs of worship? Lisa. How many want to worship a little bit? A couple songs here. I'm expecting God to heal a bunch of people here tonight. diagnosis of leukemia here tonight. Someone's being healed of early stage leukemia. It's, it's amazing. It's an amazing healing tonight. There's carpal tunnel being healed tonight. There's a Lyme's disease being healed tonight. Cartilage of the knees are being recreated around the knees tonight. Come quickly. Come quickly. There's there, elevation of liver enzymes. That's why you're having that pain. There's also polyps in the colon being removed. God is scraping that right out of your system tonight. There'll be no cancer. These polyps will not become malignant. We give God praise for that. There's tremors. People have tremors in their body. Those tremors are leaving tonight. This is a great night for these miracles. What's happening here? What happened, young man? By that power. Oh. Somebody give God a shout, I'll tell you. You felt that? Huh? What'd that feel like? I felt good. <laughs> That's the Holy Spirit moving in you. Give it time to move in you. You still feel it? Huh? Yeah. Where'd he get the pillow? I didn't have any pillow when I was young. I laid on the marble floor. Huh? Still feel it? Still feel yeah, it. Yeah, I feel it. What's it feel like? It just feels good. 
Good is it, feeling. Is it warm? Is it hot? Is it moving up and down? Is it staying in one spot? It's moving. Can you bend your legs up for me? Your other one too? Kick them down. Bend them up. They feel different? They do? They feel pretty good. What do you think, Mom? Praise God. Hallelujah. I know the Lord is healing him. Yeah. Let's break them up. Pick them up. Holy, holy. Slow. Walk slow. 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 Come to me. Come slow. Lord God. You can do it. They're getting strong. He's doing it. He's getting strength in his legs. Jim. One hand. Just one hand. No. Let him walk with just one of you. One usher. Look at me, look at me, look at me. You have, you have to think to walk. You're thinking, right, to walk. I want you to, look at me. I don't want you to think. I want you to just check out. I want you to check your mind out. Just check it out. I want you to walk with no thought. Okay, I want you to try, just a couple steps. No thought. Mama, you got a winner here. Where'd she go? Right here. Hmm? That's in the back? Yeah, it's... Uh, Is it still there? It's, yes. Do you check it? Uh, you we, haven't, it? we haven't had a scan yet, but it's it was malignant. Can you see it? No. What? What? <laughs> it, it feels so flat. <laughs> it does, it's not sticking out as much as it used to. I don't know what's the matter with this place. I don't know what's the matter with this place. What? Wait a minute, Jim. Wait. It feels flat? Yes, it feels flat. It used to, Mom, it used to be sticking out a little bit. It's sticking up. It, no, it used to be sticking out. It used out. to be sticking yeah. out. The tumor in his back went flat. If you don't get it, I'm going to go rent excited people. I'll tell you that. I'll pay. I'm going to go rent them. My God. What do you think? Wait a minute, Mama. What do you think of this? I don't you don't know, know what to think. think of it. No. <laughs> I don't know what to it's think. Surprising. I've you never didn't... seen him walk that good, though. You've never seen him walk? Not, not since his surgery, no. He's never walked that good. Not by himself, no. You got some moves going here. You want to walk a little more, don't you? You do. Yeah. Let's do it. Let's do it. Boy, stay with him, buddy. Stay with him. Stay with him. Look at that. What if he took the shoes off? Okay, hey guys, sit him down, get those big shoes off of him. Get those shoes off. I think that's, yeah, get, let's take them off. Let's take them off. I want to see you walk without those. There you go. Okay, now come to me. Come on.
better. Holy, holy Lord God. Come on, as we lift our hearts. As we lift our hearts One guy, one guy, just one. wants to run. to him? Are you related? You're the stepdad. This is pretty special for you then. We're not done. I'm going to come back here. I want you to get ready. I want you to rest in that a little bit. Let it get stronger, okay? Before we close tonight, I'm going to call you to get up here. Okay. Give you coming tomorrow morning or? Uh, I don't think so. No? He has an appointment in the morning. Keep, keep, stay in the presence, people. Stay in the presence. Come on, quickly, man. What's going on? Quickly, this is from... What's going on here? Huh? Yes. I have rods in my back. You have rods in your back. In my back and in my neck. Is your, is your back hurting? Yes, it is. Right now? Yes, it is. Are you is. sure? What? No. No. <laughs> <laughs> I turn it. <laughs> what <are> you? <laughs> no. No, this mighty touch, mighty. Ooh. Come on, give God a shout. Power. Amazing. Amazing. Blessed be the name of the Lord. He is, he is worthy to be praised and adored. So we lift up holy hands. So we lift up holy hands in one Singing. Singing blessed be the name. Blessed be the name. be the name of the Lord. What's happening here? Excuse me? What's happening to you? Um, I'm being healed of carpal tunnel disease. Oh. I just was diagnosed this week. I had an EMG. Well, how is it now? Um, I can make fists again. And you couldn't? No, I couldn't. Praise God. Hallelujah. Praise God. Well, that's a good welcoming here to the meeting, isn't it? It is. <laughs> so we lift up holy hands in one accord. Singing. Come on, blessed be the name. Blessed be. Grateful. Very Don, very thankful. you got a prize here. Where are you? Got a prize here. I, he's my prize. He took me tonight, so. He's your prize. He brought you here. Right. Aren't you something? So, I'm a blessed woman. Well, blessed from the Lord. Blessed by the husband. Amen. Amen. Wow. Somebody give the Lord a big hand clap here. Come on. Wow. Come on, sir. Quickly. What's happening here? I have uh, in my right knee ligaments and cartilage uh, issues, 
And um, last week, uh, my wife had an appointment uh, for a doctor. She didn't go. Yeah. I went instead, and he says I have an enlarged um, thyroid. Thyroid. Yes, enlarged, he says. So he wants me to go I for thought it. in your knee, though. That's it's not in my knee. Absolutely. That's the thymus gland. Right, right. So I'm going to go in for tests on that, but I'm certain the thyroid is fine. I'm certain of that. Wow. You're from Queens. Queens. Put your hands up. You are the Lord, my healer. Come on, everybody, really loud. You are the God. Come on. You are the God. You were diagnosed with what? Lyme disease. Lyme disease. That was called out tonight. Yeah. That's not just for you to say, hey, that's me. That's, I'm that's healing me. that. I, I am being healed of that. I, I claim that. Well, can you, would you need this to walk? Well, I did when I come up here. <laughs> There's the power of God all over you, lady. Oh. You sent your word, you, you sent, sent your word, and healed my disease. You are the Lord. You got to behave now. You got to behave. Behave. <laughs> I'm going to behave. God is good all the time. These are your knees, right? Yes. And how bad are they? They're bad. What's that mean? My they lower hurt? back. The, uh, is it hurting now? Yes. You're sure? Um, my back. Can you check it? Can I catch you? Check it. Yeah, I'm touching my back. And it hurts. Yes, yes. I have bad disc in my back. That's before you came in here. Yes. But check it now. Well, it's getting better. It's getting better. Getting better. Yes. It's going to get even better, more better. Holy Spirit, touch her. Touch her. Take away that inflammation. Yes. Yes. Mm. There's no surgery. There's no knife that'll touch you the rest of your life. You'll never be under the knife ever, ever again. Come on, somebody give God a shout. Come on, that power. Come on. Singing, blessed be the name. Come on. Blessed be. Blessed be. How we doing here tonight? How we doing? We're doing good. I had confirmation tonight from this lady right here, and I'm healed. I believe I'm healed. I know I'm healed. Tuesday, I go for my ninth chemo treatment Amen. from colon cancer that I was diagnosed in November, and I'm still like, what? Who, me? You got the wrong patient. But I'm healed. But since the chemo, it took my A1C out, so I get this shot. And this shot been giving me this bone joint pain. Well, the shunt opens and closes, right? Yeah, yeah. the shot. So I need this, this stepping out this bone pain, but I'm healed. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Pastor B. Hey, Jim, I want her. Jim, Jim, I, Jim, I want her. I want her. Come here, sweetheart. How's those knees? It's better. Yeah, you it's are. Better. It's better. How much better? A lot better. A lot better. Than it was. And it's going to get better. I love your I attitude. I trust God. I love it. Yes. Thank you. I love it. Appreciate love it. Love you. You're such a good woman. Thank you. Thank you. Mm. Hallelujah. So now this diagnosis was how long ago? November. November. So what do we have? You, do, we have a, do, we, do we have a bag here or what? What do we have over here? 
We don't have no bag okay. or, or nothing. We I had surgery. I was diagnosed November. I had surgery December. Started the chemo treatments February. They wanted so to, when you walked there was pain though. Yes. Is there pain now? Yes. There is. In this right side. Let me see you walk and tell me if there's pain. Praise God. Hallelujah. Wait a minute. this precious lady receive I mean this it's, it's healing rain falling all over this place it's quite amazing quite amazing I believe it is I believe it is it's quite am- it's quite amazing it's quite amazing quite amazing Hallelujah, yes. Come on, man, you okay? Oh, wait, what's happening here? The power's on her, guys. Be careful, the power's on her. As she goes, there she goes, there she goes. Who's all over her? If the power's on you, why would you want to stay up? I don't understand that you fight to stay up. Why would you do that? Let them take you. Let the river take you. Ezekiel's river, 47, says there's a river that takes you into the healing place. What's going on here? Let's get the Hollywood guy right here. I swear that was Alice Cooper standing there, I'll tell you that. He's a Christian now, you know, Alan Cooper. Yes, yes. Step to Jesus, yeah. 
So what's going on here with you now? This is a... Uh, uh, liver cancer. Liver cancer. Yes. Okay. And they said it was inoperable, and they wanted to put me on morphine and just... On morphine. And just so take tell me, me out. Your main, what's your main symptom here? Pain. Um, I got it all over. Uh, but you have your my, in your pain. You're in a lot of pain. It cold, my cold. You're passing you know, blood, what? Uh, yeah, I was spitting blood up on the streets of Hollywood for about six weeks before I came in. Mm -hmm. And then, uh, yeah, so I'm past my expiration date. You're past your expiration <laughs> yeah. date. Yeah. So, so you got on a plane and came here. Yes. Hmm. And your name? Tim. Tim. Amen. Tim. Amen. Amen. Uh -huh. I'm going to touch you, Tim, and the power is going to go through your body. Okay. And there's a verse in Ezekiel 16:6. It says, I passed by, I saw you in blood. Yes. And you will live. And you're going to live. Yes. You're going to live and tell your story. Well, yes. Do you hear me? I, yes. Put your hands up, Tim. Oh, we give God praise. Oh. Mm. We give you such praise. Just hallelujah, Bruce. Just, just sing the hallelujah chorus. Hallelujah. Come on, everybody. Let's worship him. God is moving right now. Hallelujah. 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 what you're doing but not here no no here is whenever you're under the power whenever you're under the power leave the power do the work these churches that I go to these altar workers want to jump in and no, no why would you do that the more flesh the more trouble when he's working on somebody leave the Holy Spirit's work when the man was Mark chapter 9 when Jesus said that he threw the man to the ground then the man was contorting and man, Jesus nothing he just watched it the more you work after he's moving the less you believe the less you work when he's moving the more you believe come on give God a shout for that powerful how are we doing here yeah. huh? I feel I feel good you feel you feel good yeah. What happened there? Like back in the presence of the Lord. Back in the presence. Yeah. Yeah. Tim, that's good. Put your hands. I want to pray this. Say, Holy Spirit, I renounce the hidden things and the wrong things. I disconnect myself from the wrong people and the unclean hand. I break its power. It doesn't have a hold over me nothing about it 
is attractive to me. It's a curse. I don't want it and I will resist it. The unclean hand has been broken tonight. In Jesus' name. That's the power. That'll save your life. That's what'll save your life, okay? Come on, give God a big, big shout. Come on. Come on, give him a shout. We okay over here? We okay? Yeah. Yeah. Bring him to me. Bring him to me. Is he with you, sir? He came with you? Sir, did he come with you? No. Oh, okay. Have we met before? Have we met before? We yeah. Have, where, where did we meet? Here. Okay. Tell me what's going on. What happened over there? Like a... Uh, Something you will release from me. What's that? Demon release from me. Okay. Feel better? Yeah. Yeah, I do. Praise God. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So how do you think you got that demon? Wrongful thinking. Okay. And this is... My mother. Good to have you, ma'am. Thank you. Glad you're here tonight. I am too. Did that scare you a little bit over there? No. I was just concerned about it. Mm-hmm. Where are you from, young man? Uh, Lake Milton. Where? Lake Milton, Ohio. Okay. How did you hear about this meeting? Uh, actually, my cousin told me. And, he yeah, he didn't come, so we decided to show up. Put your hands up. Put your hands up. I want you to pray with me, okay? All right. I want the love of God to go through you. That's what I want, the love of Jesus. That's what you need tonight. And to heal you. I don't know who damaged you, but he, God wants to heal you. Do you want to be healed? Yes, I do. All the pain? Everything. All the abuse? Yes. That's what's made you angry. God wants to release the anger. How do you release the anger? You forgive people. The people that damned you, that messed you up, that did the wrong thing, I want you to forgive them tonight. Okay. That's when your healing begins. Okay? All right. Is that a deal? Yep. Is that a deal, Mama? Yeah. Everybody put your hands up. Let's join in with our friend here tonight. These Pittsburgh meetings are getting exciting, I'll tell you what. How's your knees? How's your knees there, sweetheart? Better. Well, if I check in with you tomorrow, it's better, and it's better. It's always better. I want you to be healed. Yes, sir. Okay, we're believing for that. How's yours? You're healed. Amen. No pain. I'm healed. How are we doing over here? Amen. We're doing good? How are you doing? I'm asking you. I'm outstanding. You're outstanding. Yeah. <laughs> That's a new word. That's a new word. What's your first name again? John. Come on, put your hands up. Say, Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit. I need you. I need you. To move through me. To move through me. Heal my pain. Heal my pain. And, and disarm this anger. And disarm this anger. I need to release these people. I need to release these people. That have done me damage. That have done me damage. Did things. Did things. And said things. And said things. That have made me angry. That have made me angry. I forgive them all. I forgive them all. Say it slow. I forgive. I forgive. All of them. All of them. Touch me. Touch me. With the love of Jesus. With the love of Jesus. That mighty touch. Oh. Holy Spirit, thou art welcome in this place. Gotta forgive people. Gotta forgive. Thou art welcome. What's going on here, ma'am? This place. Omnipotent. Oh, we've met before. Yeah. We did. Of mercy and grace. Your mom. Thou art welcome. In so what's on what's the reason for the wheelchair tonight? 
I fell off the front porch. You fell off the front porch? Yeah. Okay. What, what, what happened? I fractured my pelvis in two places. Mm. And I was do- diagnosed with leukemia. You what now? Diagnosed with leukemia. Leukemia. You're the lady with... The, that was so clear when that... Oh, my, that had to shock you. Hey, you. How you feeling there now? Great. What do you mean by that? <laughs> no pain, no nothing. What? No pain, no nothing. <laughs> Feel great. <laughs> Praise God. Praise Jesus. How bad was the pain? How bad was it? Hard to explain. How about the anger part? Talk to me about the anger. I'm not sure what got a hold of me, what I did exactly. But you felt the anger. Over yeah. It's been going on for years, five years. Mm-hmm. And now? You feel it now? No. You don't feel it? No. Nope. Nothing. Thanks for coming tonight. Thank you for having us. You and your mom were a blessing. You were too. Okay. All you guys here too. Thanks for showing up. Thanks for showing up. Thanks for showing up. See, what you're feeling right now can be permanent. But you have to want that. He's here for you. But something's trying to pull you into a dark place. It keeps trying to pull you there. Do you have a church to go to? Where are you from again? Uh, Lake Lake Milton, Ohio. I don't know where that's at in Ohio. By Youngstown. Oh, by Youngstown. Yep, about 20 minutes. We just want to help so many people. Wow. You help me, we'll help them. Amen. Amen, thanks. Hey, Bonnie, can we get this information? Get his name, him and his mama, okay? We can stay in touch with him. We're going to t- pray for this precious lady here to get healed and come right out of this wheelchair. Is that good? Yes. Are you hurting with this? Mm-hmm. How bad is it? Oh, it's tolerable. Tolerable. Yeah, it's just in my left let's leg. Get this, let's get this wheelchair, these things here up here. And Holy Spirit, we give you some. Oh, wow. We just thank you for the Holy Spirit. We thank you for the mighty Holy Spirit. Touch her completely, Master. Touch her completely. Thou art welcome in this place. That's the power on you, man. Oh, my, the power. See that? Omnipotent. He's healing that hope. He's healing it all. That's him healing it. Thou art welcome. Don't be afraid. Don't be afraid. Let's go. Come on. Holy Spirit, thou art. How's that feel? Wow! Just walk. I'll walk over there. Well, tell me what's going on here. Huh? Surprised, I guess. You're surprised. Why are you surprised? I guess I never thought the Lord would do anything for me. Hmm. Well, what did he do? Made me be able to walk without crutches or a walker. So you felt pretty good walking across there? I did. Pain? A little bit. Okay. That's fair. I have MDS. We have what? MDS and leukemia. Well, the leukemia was called out. Now, when God calls a word out, it's like, maybe, I might, I think so. So it's gone. It's what? It's gone. Oh, I love it. Look at your grandson. Look at your grandson. I see him. The tither, the tither, the giver. 
You see that, Ashley? Special. Look at that. Eh, we, these meetings are so, uh, so in your face, so personal. Hope we never lose that, huh? Never. Never, never, completely. No pain. Going to bed tonight, no pain. Omnipotent Father, have mercy. Come on, thou art welcome. Billy, I was just in the hospital for uncontrolled blood pressure because my... That mighty touch. My, my son. Mighty touch. <laughs> this is my story. This is my story. You what? I'm a partner of yours. Okay, we're a partner. And uh, I'm a Vietnam vet. Vietnam vet. Give him a hand clap. Amen. Vietnam. I was uh, 17 years old and I quit school and went and served my country. You were 17 country. years old and what? I went to the service and served my country. And he went to Vietnam. Mm -hmm. So what, what's happened here? I have neuropathy in my legs, which most veterans have. I have arthritis real bad. I'm home ridden. I can't hardly go nowhere. I can't go shopping. Uh, I have COPD. I had pneumonia twice. I was married for 47 years, and I lost my wife May 2nd. And... Uh, the devil's just been attacking and attacking me. Three times I seen Satan physically. He said, I'll kill you. you I'll destroy you. You'll be nothing for God. Three people prophesied over me, didn't know each other, and said, God must have a mighty work for you to do. Yes. And uh, I told God, if he would give me the gift of healing, I don't want people to know where I'm from, what my name is. But Jesus did the work. That's good. That's good. And uh, I brought my two sons. It's where are they at? Day. You're the son? <laughs> give me the two boys. Where's those two sons? Jeremiah. Yes. What's happened? What are you doing? What? <laughs> Let me see you walk. Let me see you walk fast across here, as fast as you can. Come on, come on, come on. Love later. Just walk tonight. Just come on. Give God a big shout. Come on. All the day long. This is my story. What do you think of this? thought it would happen. Never thought it would happen. Nope. Wow. Came in a wheelchair and you're walking home. Come on, grandson. Come on over here with grandma. Wow. Come on, this is my story. Come on. This is my story. Come on, this is. This is my story. Praising my Savior. Time is Moving all through you, sir. Amazing, my Savior. All the day. All the sir, that's the Holy Spirit. He's moving in your body. He's healing those nerve endings. He's healing a lot of that inflammation. You're not going to be as you were. This is not get up and you're the same. You're not the same. That pain is subsiding, it's leaving. He has saved you tonight from torture and a tormenting spirit is leaving your life. Yes. I said be loose. Yes. This is your dad? Huh? Yes. You came to support him? Yes. He's an amazing guy, right? Yep. And where's the other son at? Right here. Let's help him up. I want him to walk tonight without these canes. Come on, help him up. He has Lyme's disease. We'll take care of you first, Dad. Come on. Come on, Dad. He wants to take care of the sons. Just walk, Dad. Just walk. Let's just walk.
What's your dad's name? James. Who? James. Jim. Hey, Jim, come on, just walk over here. Let's go. Where's that pain at? I got some in my knees because knee. every time I move, they pop and crack. Okay. And my ankles. I have a torn rotor cuff too. Okay. It just happened recently. Okay. A doctor did surgery on my neck, botched them twice. Okay. And all the bones on my neck deteriorated. So I live in pain every day of my life. But let's let it go. I want to. Let's let it go. My Come son's on. crying. Ah, let's let it go. Back. I hear you. I hear the abuse of the doctors. I hear the surgeries. But oh, there's one. There's one that heals all of that. He heals all of that. Master, take it all the way. Take it all the way. Take it away. I release it now. Wow. Wow. Oh, the power's on them. The power's all over them. Let them go, guys. The power's all over them. Thinking we brought him up a little too soon, maybe. You doing okay? He said you had something you're fighting tonight. Uh, kidney stones, Lyme disease. How long you had the Lyme disease? Three years. Let's get rid of those, okay? We'll put those hands up. Come on, your dad brought you tonight. You don't... You don't mind doing this, do you? No. Get those hands up in here. Come on. And Holy Spirit, for this man here, his father brought him tonight. We're watching on Father's Day, Father, get healed. Amen. And the father pointed to the son, said he, he thought of his son tonight. I pray go through his body and heal the Lyme's disease. Let everything in him that would be there, any of those eggs, any of those worms, any of those parasites, that they would die tonight on the inside of his body. That they would disappear, fall into the bowl, but be in him no more. And no more pain in Jesus. Oh, this, oh the power. Oh, Lord Jesus. Wow. Come on, somebody better do something. Come on, ma'am. Let's all stand to our feet. We'll be closing here in a couple minutes tonight. I've kept you later than normal. Lord, release the prophets. That's a great sweatshirt. What are we doing I tonight? I release the prophetic in you. In me. Mm -hmm. Okay. <laughs> what are we doing tonight? Okay, my knee is stiff. I can't bend it all the way back. And my eyes is cloudy. I see. Okay, and I hear ringing. I'm glad you're here tonight. Amen. Touch her by the Holy Spirit. Yeah. Touch her by the Holy Spirit. We love the Holy Spirit here. We thank him for his mighty, all oh, this mighty work. We thank him. It's your rods, it's your cones. Your rods and your cones are being healed. If you went to an optometrist, he would say the rods and the cones are out of balance. But God is balancing rods and cones in the eyes tonight. That mighty touch. Oh, Lord, wow. He's here couple more people then we're going to close here tonight yes what's going on here sweetheart my a1c is 9.1 your what my a1c is 9.1 okay and i knew i want to get rid of it all together you do yes <laughs> and you believe when you come tonight yes that it would just go yes oh lord be it so be it so be it oh lord be it so Give her a God bless you. I'll tell you, that lady has faith right there. Bring her. You're holding that woman up. Bring her to me. Bring her to me. Boy, we have some cases. Tomorrow morning, 10 a.m. Be here with your Bible. Tomorrow morning. Yes. Hi. Hi. I'm Kathy. Hey, Kathy. I've already been healed, and I okay. believe that. Okay. I have been plagued for the last six months with multiple issues. Okay. Started as a mom, a sciatica. Um, 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 Mary, what else did I have? I have parasites. I had shingles. And then in the midst of it all, my muscles are just going crazy. What's your diagnosis? We don't have one. You don't have well, one. We, we have been... Pain. Pain. You're, the, you're the husband? Yes. Yeah. Well, what's, the, what's the deal here? She has pain for the last, the last uh, two, months. In two months. Okay, but the, so the last how, how many months? Two months. Pain. Pain and lost Where's weight. Where's your pain now? 
It's mostly in the wraparound. Section. Where's it right now? It's pretty Check me. Where's it at? Check it. Right Check it. Okay. Where is it? Where is it? It's not here because my ankle and everything was just swollen up when I... Where did it go? Jesus took care of it. <laughs> Jesus took care of it. He did. I have, I have been sitting in a chair for the last like You're so two weeks. This storm is over. Thank you. This storm is over. His name is wonderful. Jesus. Come on. He is the mighty king. He is. Kathleen. Kathleen. Let's help Kathleen up off the floor, guys. Let's help her up. Come on, Kathleen. I want you to walk across the front here. Just walk. Okay. This is me too, okay? Okay. He is. He is the mighty king. Master, you're doing good. You're doing good. Huh? You're moving. You're moving. No pain. There is something still here. In the little bit in the back. Well, it's right here. It's in the SLA joint. Okay. 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 Here, give me your hand. He's the great shepherd. The rock of Come on, Almighty God. This couple gets something from my table, the healing music, okay? Just give her a couple CDs. Do you have a CD player at home, ma'am? Yes, she does. How does how she know you? Oh. You got you to gotta keep presence going into you. Yes, I want to continue the feeling. Yeah. You can't visit this and expect it just to be. Some of you are coming in here and the load is so heavy. You're, the exposure to darkness doesn't mean you're dark. It means that you're in an atmosphere You where you work, where you live, the people you're with. We don't escape that transfer that comes on us. You've got to stay filled just so you can push, push away those transfers that want to jump on you. That's why you wear the armor. That's why you hold the shield. You don't know who's carrying what. You're worried about a virus. That's nothing compared to the warfare of the believer. This thing is after her sanity. Yeah, well, you're going to be okay. 
No, it, man, it got broke tonight. It got broke tonight. Because he first loved me. Let's sing it. Oh, how I love Jesus. Come on. And oh. everybody. Coming out, you hear me? You're coming out of here. You're beginning to move your legs. Oh, because, because he first loved me, and oh, how I love him, and oh.
I don't want you to leave here without knowing that Jesus lives in your heart. It's the greatest miracle of all. That spiritual healing, that reconnecting to him, being forgiven of your sins, being forgiven of your past, your far past, 20 minutes ago past, giving you the power to live by the grace of God. Go to a throne of grace. We don't live by the letter of the law. We don't obey a bunch of written rules. We obey the Holy Spirit writes on our hearts. When we do wrong, we go into the light and we say, Lord, forgive me. But we never live every day without seeking forgiveness. We don't have to kiss a ring and we don't have to go to a meeting, but we do have to come into his presence. Come ye therefore boldly. The word come means come into that presence. Get that cleansing. Let's do that right now. Every hand up. Come on. See, I come to you tonight. The Lord Jesus asking for cleansing. In my mind. In my heart. In my words. In my life. Wash me and cleanse me. From all unrighteousness. And keep the wrong people from being inside of me help me be a witness help me spread the good news help me have a standard I've never had before help me never again stray or walk away but help me stand in faith and see my waters part I promise you I will serve you all my life Save my family and all my children. Bring them out of dark places, back into the light. Every prodigal that I have, bring them back. I pray in Jesus' name. Let's give God a big shout tonight. Can we do that? Come on. Come on. Thank you. Hey, thank you so much tonight for your patience here with the late service and going a little bit over. Thank you. Thank you. Tomorrow morning, 10 o'clock, right, right here. Bring your Bible. And uh, we're going to give a few of these away. And then tomorrow night, right back here at 7 o'clock, the secret of obtaining your prize. Who wants this right here, young man? There you go. This one here is so amazing. Having a soul cleanse. Getting a soul cleanse. Who wants this? There you are, big guy. Oh, good catch. This is one of the new, we're releasing your, getting your emotions involved. Getting your emotions involved. There you go. Amen. I'm going to count to three. Let's give God a standing ovation. One, two, three. Come on. Come on. Come on. Our Father, our Father. Our Father, we'll see you tomorrow morning. Our Father, which art in heaven.